EA Interviews, Episode 24. Inspiration, Transformation, Success Stories, and the Imperfect Action Round. Seven days a week. Join Mario Ficini for today's Expert Authority Effect interview. Welcome, Expert Authority World. I have another great episode for you of Q&A. This is Q&A 3, and I have more questions for this week. So what I decided to do was take one from each of the different areas. And there's a lot of them that I get on a regular basis, daily basis, weekly basis, and they all are around publishing, live streaming, um, They are all they are all around publishing, live streaming, podcasting, training courses, and there's always some variables like what should I do on LinkedIn, what should I do in Facebook, stuff like that. This is all stuff I go over with our private clients. So I'm excited to bring it to you and I was just going over which ones I'm going to answer this week. Because there are so many, I can't answer all of them, but join Expert Authority World and ask them during the week. And then you don't need to wait for the weekend to get them on the episode. But there are literally hundreds of questions I get all the time. So here's the ones we're going to cover this week. Podcast show description. Why do I need an ISBN? If you plan on, oh, that's the answer. (laughs) Um, How do I keep my camera from bouncing? How do I create a training and do I need a domain? So real quick, podcast show description. You want people when they're reading you in iTunes to go, I either want to listen to this or not. It's the same with the back of a book. You have the book description and that is still a sales page. When you are writing for that, Imagine you are selling the idea of the book to someone. Don't put all the details of it. The front cover gets their attention. The back cover entices them to read it. Chapter one sells them on the idea of they should read the whole thing. Same thing with the podcast show description. iTunes, they're not going to listen to the episode if you don't have a compelling description. So put in there the benefits of listening to your show. Why do I need an ISBN? Okay, now business book publishing, why do you need an ISBN? Unless you plan on printing the copies for your local, uh, I'd say bake sale or local club, and that's it. If you're just keeping it within the internals of an organization, you don't need one. Just print the book, that's it. If you plan on selling it though, and we are talking about business books here, So I'd encourage you to sell them for a profit like I teach in my training. You need an ISBN, and that is the International Standard Book Number. It's a unique identifier, not just for the book, but for the edition. So an ebook, a paperback, a hardcover, they'd all have different ISBNs on them. And if you plan on selling it, that's why you need it. How do I keep my camera from bouncing? Simple. Don't use a built-in webcam. I cannot stress this enough. And if you listen to Q&A 2, I stressed on it a lot. Get an external webcam. That's what I'm using here. And you'll see it's not shaking no matter how much I move my hands around because it is on a sturdy base. Now, granted, it is on top of a big monitor, but it does have a sturdy base. Ideally, you can also use a tripod depending on what type of monitor or multiple monitor setup, just make sure the camera's not bouncing around. Do not use it built into a webcam. Because if you smack the desk a little bit, if you move something around, there's nothing more irritating than looking at something that's flickering. So always, always, always use an external webcam. That's how you keep it from bouncing. How do I create a training? Simple. Take the chapters from your book, rename them modules, and there you go. Plain and simple. Think about the structure of what you're teaching and what you want someone to get out of it. And just make training modules. When I take people through it like I'm doing this week with multiple people, take the chapters from the book or the outline, even a blog post. 
If you have no desire to write a book, so be it. I'd still encourage you to do so because it's not really that hard and it's very valuable. But even if you have the outline of a blog post, take those bullet points and each of those become modules. Then take that and turn it into three more bullet points. And those are your sub bullet points, subtopics. And those are the modules. So you can, I always teach people seven steps. You can turn that into 10 or lower it to five, but those seven turn into 21 very easily. And it's a nice amount of content to help people out, but it doesn't get overwhelming and they don't feel like there's no material there. So how do you create a training? It's literally just a, think of a grocery list. What are, What is the main thought you want them to have? How do they get there? Put it into steps and then just talk on each of those points. Last but not least, do I need a domain? I would say yes, get multiples. Now, a lot of people think I already have a domain, I have a business, I have a website. I don't know why everyone thinks I already have a domain, it's the end all be all, that's all I need. They're like 15 bucks. I always encourage the people to get one for your book, get one for your podcast, get one for your live stream. I could mention one for each of mine right now. I have dozens of them. URLs and domain names are the coolest thing in the world. They're extremely inexpensive. They're very easy to remember, and they're even easier to promote. When you say go to iTunes forward slash blah, 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 no one's going to remember. When you say check out my show on subscribe to mario.com, and the URL redirects to iTunes, you have a beautiful thing. Well, that's all for now. I hope that helped. I look forward to seeing you on next week's Q&A session. And in the meantime, check out expertauthorityworld.com where we can talk in the community and I can answer your questions in there and they may get turned into a show episode down the road. Have a great day and God bless. You're already successful. You've worked hard to get where you are. We both know it wasn't overnight and hasn't always been easy. No doubt you're the expert on your subject matter. But do your prospects in your marketplace think of you first as their go-to trusted advisor all the time? ExpertAuthorityChecklist.com is 100% free and reveals the 21 steps to determine if your prospects view you as the expert and authority of your marketplace or if it's just all in your mind. Important required steps like do you have a process in place for prospects to self-identify if they qualify for your time and expertise or not? Does your current offer have the seven components of an irresistible offer required to make it a no-brainer for your prospects? Do you have a real-life paperback book showcasing you as the subject matter expert you can actually hand someone? Get your free checklist now at expertauthoritychecklist.com. Once again, expertauthoritychecklist to make sure you have the 21 steps covered. It better not be more, but don't leave those one or two things you may have missing go any longer. Visit expertauthoritychecklist.com and make sure you're being seen as the expert in authority today. Once again, that's expertauthoritychecklist.com. Get your copy now. Congratulations, you got started with your cell phone and I welcome you to the live streaming game. Now you're comfortable on camera and going live regularly, but I caution you, don't get stuck in startup mode. This is why I stepped up my game with Wirecast Pro and advise you do too. Get your 30-day free trial at eainterviews.com forward slash Wirecast. Thanks for listening to the episode. I hope you got a lot of value out of it. Let's continue the conversation over in the community, expertauthorityworld.com. We can have discussions, talk about the episodes, and I'd love to get your thoughts on it. Once again, expertauthorityworld.com.